Hey, I'm Happy. welcome back to episode 11 of the One Chunk Ultimate Iron Man. In the last episode I unlocked a couple of pretty empty desert chunks with very little objectives to reach the Orange Salamanders, a decent hunter training method. Then I unlocked the Varrock Southgate chunk with a large wheat field that gave me access to Puro Puro. This came with a lot of new objectives. However, for most of those I already had the skill requirements and just had to get certain drops from different implings. 23 runecrafting to craft lava runes and the big level 89 hunter to catch a lucky impling were the two objectives that stood out as I took the longest. However, I was able to finish all of the objectives in just one video. Now we're back in Edgeville, because there's one thing standing in my way before I can continue unlocking chunks again. Scurious the Red King. That includes all 5 combat achievements and my first ever pet grind. I'm too excited and was already on my way to check out Scurious for the first time, but maybe it's a good idea if I unload some of my food before I do my first attempt. Alright, I even got myself some combo food, if I say that right, with Karambons and Swordfish and one prayer potion. But let's have a look at what the combat achievements for Scurious are, so I can take those into account from the start. Kill Scurious once, that should hopefully not be a problem. Finish off Scurious with a Red Bane weapon in a private instance. Need a Scurious Spine for that, so that'll have to wait. Kill Scurious 10 times. Perfect Scurious, kill Scurious without taking damage from the following. Alright, let's focus on killing him once first. And finally, kill 6 Giant Rats in the lair in 3 seconds. I will need the Red Bane weapon for that as well. Those seem doable though, with a bit of practice. Let's take it one attempt at a time to start. And remember that I have no PVM experience whatsoever, apart from Obor and Bryophyta, so I have a lot to learn. And the collection log for Scurrius isn't very long. Only two things, the Scurrius Spine and of course the Scurry Pet, which has a 1 in 3000 drop rate. I might be here for a while to be honest, and it's going to be intense. I'm gonna have to take enough breaks, because it's a marathon, not a race. And then I'll be able to do other stuff in the meantime. Like improving my programming skills with the sponsor of this video, boot.dev. As RuneScape players, you will probably know it is hard to get into learning something new and useful while you could just be playing games instead. The folks at boot.dev believe the smartest way to learn to code is to make sure you're never bored. Boot.dev is online, self-paced and feels like a captivating RPG game. Just like the one we all love. You will earn XP, levels, achievements and complete quests to get a top spot on the global leaderboard. So it actually feels rewarding to learn and progress. You will learn backend web development from start to finish in the Python and Go programming languages. With the help of Boots, a powerful bear wizard that's been trained on each lesson and can walk you through your issues. He is an AI that will ask you questions to help you understand, rather than hand you the answers. The platform is designed to get you writing a ton of code, because getting your hands on the keyboard and shipping projects is the only way to really learn. And if you're still stuck, the active boot.dev discord community is there to help you on your coding challenges. If this sparked your interest, click the link in the description and use my code HAPPERY to get 25% off your first payment for boot.dev. That's 25% on your first month or your first year, depending on the subscription you choose. Thank you boot.dev for sponsoring this video. Alright, time for the first attempt here. Good luck me. Oh, I got hit by the falling bricks. Didn't even see them. Does he not attack with major ranged in this phase? My DPS is much lower than I thought, and why am I not praying melee? Dude, I'm not even halfway through his health right now. I suck. Why is he eating so much? Okay, finally I'm doing some damage. No, stop eating! I honestly imagined my DPS a little higher than it is. Oh no! And I'm out of prayer! So many waves of stupid rats, why? Ah, fuck. Freak me. Oh, no. Oh, no. I forgot you can eat the cheese piles. Why did I not do that? I probably could have finished that kill if I was able to heal to full there. Alright, let's try that again. I'm gonna heal up first. Let's go. Full health. Dude, I'm just tanking his melee hits as well this time. 
I guess I can just tank most hits as long as I avoid the falling stuff. Oh, dang it. I should preserve my prayer more. I'm going to turn off ultimate strength. The first part of this fight feels harder than the second part, it seems. Almost there. I have a lot of food still. This should be the first kill. There we go, finally. How long did that kill take though? Like 8 minutes or something? Freaking hell. Alright, I got my first kill so this is possible. Pretty happy with that. I'll only get better from here. Let's go back in for kill number 2. So this attempt I'm going to start with just 57 HP and when I'm close to dying I'll eat from the food pile. That way I get the most out of it. Alright, not doing too bad so far. I think I will eat in a second though. Whoops, I should eat now, whenever he stops attacking. There we go, I'm doing pretty well so far, I think. Hey, didn't use any of the food that I brought and I didn't even drink from my prayer potion, holy shit. I'm pretty proud of that one. Kill 3 and I'm kind of struggling again. I'm missing a lot of prayer flicks but I'm just trying to not waste too much prayer. Doing one thing at a time is easy, like dodging the bricks, but when everything is happening together, that's when I still struggle. But I guess I'll get better with practice. Yes, I did it though. That's three kill count. But how long did that kill take? If I can eat from the food pile again, it was over 10 minutes. I can. Oh my god, such long kills. I just remembered how big of a drop I actually got from my first lucky impling in the last episode. A dragonstone bracelet. If I enchant this, I'll have a combat bracelet and it gives plus 7 attack and plus 5 defense bonus. That may make a big difference at Scurious, especially looking at the rest of the gear I'm working with. There is a strength level, 72. At least I'll probably get a lot of levels during this grind and the kills will get easier and easier. At the moment I'm struggling, but I refuse to eat. Oh shit, I have to eat now. Alright. Got it. That was way closer than it should have been. I'm flicking all of the attacks with one prayer point. Let's go, kill number 5. Alright, let me eat before I leave the instance. Oh no, please stop attacking me. Please eat. I'm dead, oh my god. I should... Oh my god, I should have just left after I got the kill. So many reds during this last phase, oh my god. As long as I get the kill. Jesus Christ, so many reds, what the heck is going on? Yes, holy moly. Okay, now kill all these reds before I try to eat again and get out of here. Oh no. No! Alrighty, that went way better. Kill 7. Now eat, 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 eat. And get out of here. Kill number 8. Number 9. Jeez, that was a close one. Out of prayer, but I'll tank these last hits, I hope. There we go, Scurious Champion. That's at least another combat achievement done. Hey, there we go. I just got a 1 in 100 battle staff from Eclectic Implings, just to have it ready for when I get my first Scurrier Spine. That took 145-ish Eclectics. Not bad. And now that I got that, I'm actually going to drop my stuff of Earth, just for the extra inventory space and because I don't think I'll be needing it much. I have a big stack of Earth runes anyway. Alright, I've also thrown on my rune crossbow and mitral bolts because I want to try some ranged kills at Scurrius. Surely my DPS won't be worse than it is with my rune scimitar. Okay, this is absolutely amazing. I'm hitting so good and I'm staying out of his melee range so I have all the time in the world to react to his attacks. There we go, that was such an easy kill. Oh, and the prayer potion, bless you. One thing that I can't forget after every kill is to pick up my bolts. Oh my god, I got the Scurrious Spine! Let's freaking go! At kill count 13. 
That's gonna make things a lot easier, I think. Also, one out of two on the collection log. We're halfway done, guys. Alright, I've put on my magic gear because my first Redbane weapon is going to be the Bone Staff. I have 24,000 Chaos Runes to use up. That equals 24,000 charges. Alright, first attempt with the Bone Staff. Let's see how good it really is. Whoa, I'm already hitting so much. This is insane. I've barely taken any damage so far. Watch me kill the six rats in three seconds. Oh, now I'm getting hit by everything. And somehow I didn't get it. Oh, I did get a combat achievement. The one for killing him with a red bane weapon. Okay, that kill was so much more fun than before. Now I'm motivated to go for the pet. I was a little bit worried that I was going to be struggling for the whole grind. But now it's really on. Let's try to get the perfect Scurious combat achievement out of the way now. Ah, dang it. Totally forgot to switch prayers there. Again, forgot to pray a ranged attack. Oh wait, let me try for the 6 reds in 3 seconds after this kill. Okay, here we go. Did I get it? Yay, at least I got that one out of the way. I knew I could click six times in a row. Alright, this skill is going super smooth. Final phase already. Let's finish him off quickly. As long as no red spawn, this should be easy. Oh shoot, I'm just going to ignore them. I did it, let's go. Perfect Scurious. That is all five Scurious combat achievements completed. So now for real, all that remains is to get the pet. That is 50 kill count already. Kills are like 4 times as fast with the red bone weapon. So if you're struggling at Scurious like I was, just keep at it until you get the spine. You won't regret it. I killed some more imps just to get a wizard's hat. It has a little more magic attack bonus and I don't feel like I need the defense bonus from the rune full helm anymore. Level 81 magic at the red boss. And hit points level 94. Imagine how close to 99 hit points I could be after this pet grind. Alright, I've now put all my Chaos Runes into the staff. Less than 20,000 charges left. But I think that will get me at least 400 KC and then I'll switch to another combat style. The thing is, I've still not received a second Scurious Spine at 90 kill count. But surely I'll get another one before I'm out of charges, right? 100 Scurious kill count. 1 30th of the way to the pet drop rate. Level 82 magic. Whoa, I just got another rune chain body. I'm getting so many of those today. That is three rune chain bodies in a row even. What are the chances of that? Probably the same chance as getting the pet. But more importantly, if I elk this one, there is 10 million GP. The first green cash tag on the account. I've made about 1 mil so far at Scurious, so the cash tag will probably grow a lot more. One hundred and thirty kill count, still going very dry on that second spine. I should have about four now, surely I'll get another one soon. Hey, I finally got my second Scurrious spine at KC 162. I can finally go and make the melee weapon now. Alright, I still have some noted rune bars from Puro Puro, especially for this, so I'm going to make them all into maces. There we go, now use the red spine on it. I should probably smith this at an anvil. Good thing I didn't drop my hammer then. And there it is, bone mace, let's go. 
Might as well give it a go at the boss, just to see what it's like. Alright, that's three kills done with the mace. It's alright, but I like using magic a little better. My DPS with magic is higher, probably because I have a higher magic level. So I'm going to make use of that for as long as I have chaos rune charges. I just got two magic locks from nature implings, so I can make myself a magic shield instead of a U shield. Every little bit helps. There's level 83 magic. And there's kill count 200 of the Red King. I have to say I'm happy with how much I've learned if you have a look at my first few kills. The intention of this boss was to learn mid-level players some PVM and I feel like it's perfect for that. Not all my kills are as clean yet and it's not like I'm never dying, but at least I know what I'm doing wrong and what I'm doing right. Okay, so I did just die again. But this is the perfect opportunity to spice things up a little bit. One of my viewers and moderator in my kick stream challenged me to do a kill barehanded, so without any weapon. If I successfully got the kill, he would give away a bond to one of my other viewers, so I took him up on the challenge. Nobody in the chat knew if it was possible with my stats, my gear and my skill level. Just that it was going to be a long kill. If you want to watch the entire version of that attempt, I'll have a link in the description to a separate video. If not, let's continue with the pet hunt. Got another scurrious spine, number 3. Still very dry overall on these, but I'm going to turn this one in for an XP lamp. And I'm going to put these onto prayer from now on. Okay, okay, you guys convinced me. I'll turn spine number 4 into a bone bow. Don't know if I'm going to use it, but now at least I've obtained all three Red Bane weapons. That's something. There's level 84 magic. Still over 9000 charges to go. Three hundred kill count, one tenth of the way to the drop rate. Eighty-five magic, very nice. There we go, that's four hundred KC. Almost out of charges on the staff though. Oh, there it is, completely out of charges. Good thing I brought my melee gear in the inventory. I can't really be bothered to get myself some ranged gear, so now it's probably melee for the rest of the grind. My melee stats could use some training anyway. 73 strength, 74, 75, and 500 kill count. There is spine number 15 I want to say. I'm definitely caught up on spines by now. And this XP lamp will get me level 72 prayer. Noise. 76 strength. I don't get many random events anymore, constantly being in the Scurious instance. But here's an XP book, that's 26 slayer. And I was waiting at the cactus for 72 farming. Definitely been ignoring the cactus runs a bit, but I'm trying to get back on it. Oh, I've honestly not been paying too much attention to the cash tech, but I'm already up to 13 million GP. Always nice to make passive money from Elking on a grind like this. 77 strength and combat 105. The trips are definitely getting longer as my stats are going up. That's an 11 kill trip. If I can keep this up, I'm probably looking at around 15 kills per hour. 78 strength. And this will be kill count 600. One fifth of the drop rate. I'm getting up there. I'm also getting pretty high on the ultimate Iron Man high scores for Scurrious. I think I need around 700 KC to be front page. So I'll probably get that before I get the pet. 79 strength. Ooh, I just got a rune scimitar from a ninja impling. That just got the cash tech to a nice 14 million. Big level 80 strength. Time to switch to attack. And there's the big 700 KC at Scurrious. I should definitely be in the top 25 for Ultimate Iron Man right now. Let's check the front page of the high scores. Yeah, number 25. Very, very nice. 73 attack. 
I'm actually doing very well today for some reason. Already on a 15 kill trip in less than an hour. Not sure why I'm doing so well. Must be the omelette that I ate this morning. 20 kills this trip without having to go pray at an altar or wait for the food piles to reset. 25 kills in one trip, let's go. Oh crap, I just accidentally elked the prayer dose. That's not going to help with going for a longer trip. I could have used that. Oh my god, we got it! What? I got lucky! I got lucky! What the hell? 746, where is it? What the fuck? I got lucky! Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> oh, I'm so happy! Holy shit, where is it? What the hell, where's my pet? How do I call it? Did I lose it already? Where's my pet? <laughs> Use call pet? How? I've never had a pet. <laughs> How do I do that? Equipment tab? And... Oh, whistle. Okay, and now... Whoa, there it is! <laughs> Woo! There you have it. The first pet on the account and my first pet in old school RuneScape ever. And that's everything about Scurious completed. 5 out of 5 combat achievements. And the completed collection log. So happy I got spooned on this one, cause I have some more big grinds coming up. Before I do anything, I want to give my pets a new nickname, something more unique and personal. So I have asked you guys for some suggestions and I made a poll to decide what I should call my little friend. Please go over to the community tab on my channel and vote, because the poll is super close and I'd like to see what the rest of you thinks before I end the poll. Now what do you say we celebrate this by unlocking my next chunk? Alright, so I had a big plan in mind for what my next grind was going to be. But I just realized something that kind of changed the plan a bit and makes things a bit easier. There's one thing that I thought that was going to take a lot longer to passively level up and that is the farming skill of course. But the potato cactus totally surprised me with how much passive XP it's getting me. And during the Puro Puro and Scurious grind, I was already able to get farming up from level 64 to 72 in less than 2 months. This is great because there are quite a few chunks that are locked behind the farming patch and thus a farming objective. For example the one behind Lumbridge Castle where I'd need 75 farming to plant a magic tree. However, the thing I realized is that with Puro Puro I can get my hands on some garden pies which can boost my farming level by 3 levels from 72 to 75. So essentially I could already plant a magic tree right now and any chunks with a tree patch are not an issue anymore. That makes the one behind Lumbridge Castle basically a free chunk right now. And also, I've still got a lot of tree seeds stacked up in the looting bag. All acorns and willow seeds are still from the 99 woodcutting grind in the very first episode. So it would be very very nice if I could start planting those and clear up up to 4 inventory spaces. That's enough of a reason by itself for me to unlock this as my new chunk. Let's do a quick lap of the chunk to see what is new apart from the tree patch. No new music track for this one as I have accidentally stepped into this chunk quite a few times chasing after annoying imps when they teleported away. That was when I was still locked to my first chunk. I've got a unicorn now, don't think I had one already. And I'm pretty sure I can start the lost city quest here. I'll be doing that in a bit. The chunk is mostly filled with trees so not much space for anything else really. And then there's the hem hideout. Surely I can unlock a new music track in there, right? So I still kinda did unlock a new track with this new chunk. Yes, new music track and apparently entering the ham hideout was also a diary task. So that would be the first new objective completed. And then of course there's the tree patch that I've talked about a lot already where I'll have to plant the magic tree. And that are all the new objectives for now. So let's try to finish this chunk before the end of the video real quick. Alright, let's start the Lost City quest by tricking this warrior into spilling the beans about Cenaris. There we go, quest successfully started. And now also in the chunk is the tree where the leprechaun is hiding. So let's talk to him to learn more about how to get to Cenaris. 
And that's it, that's all I can do for the quest for now. Finally, let's work on planting this magic tree. I'm on my way to Puro Puro for a garden pie for the farming boost. It's a 1 in 100 chance from gourmet implings, so hopefully I don't have to stay for too long. And while I'm here, might as well look for some dragon implings for another magic seed. I do have 4 in the looting bag, but now that I have my new pet, it's not as straightforward to get stuff out of the bag. I'd either risk losing everything in there or lose the pet if I dead pile like usual. And I'd like to keep my little friend with me for just a little longer if possible. Somebody just scouted the first dragon impling? Oh my god, this is intense. Grab it, please. Yes, I got it! Sit, Mr. Gary. And what do we get? A <laughs> magic seed! <laughs> No way, we're done with the magic seed, that is. <laughs> now I just need the freaking garden pie. Hey, got it. Now I can go plant my first magic tree. Alright, let's eat the garden pie. There's 75 farming. Put the seed in the plant pot. I might need to eat the other half of the pie in a second to plant this. Yep, you need 75, both to put the seed in the pot and to put the sapling in the ground. There we go, now all I have to do is wait for it to grow. I just realized I don't have any secateurs for when the tree goes bad, so I'm going to kill a couple of farmers, as they have a 1 in 128 chance to drop secateurs. And I got them, very nice. Ooh, thank god I went to get these. My magic tree would have been dead if I didn't. And there we go, that is already everything done in the new chunk. Very happy with the progress, I think I'm getting a lot done very quickly right now, so let's keep it going. Don't forget to like the video if you made it this far, and leaving a comment is also very much appreciated. And a quick reminder to go vote on the poll for what I should name the little scurry in the next video. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next livestream or in the next video. Bye!